Hello, my name is Eddie Toffey. I'm Head of Technical Analysis and Senior Markets Analyst at ADM Investor Service International Limited. And here is your daily technical analysis of foreign exchange markets. I'll start with the euro against the dollar. A reactionary bullish long white Marabozo on Friday after the previous session's immediate countering bearish Arami. I suppose in some ways, an unsurprising reactionary move back up in direction, I suppose, if not size of the move as the market had been so nervous, sitting so close to a number of key supports. These are uh, the upper trend line, currently 116.83, of the recent descending wedge pattern, the neckline, currently 116.95, of the August to September 2020 head and shoulders top, the lesser 38.2% Fibonacci line of the March 2020 to January 2021 move at 116.94, and finally the famous low of March, this year at 117.02 and the move up on Friday drove up through the previous support that had become resistance and is now support once again. And that's of the 50% Fibonacci on the June 2020 to January 2021 move at 117.58. Interestingly, the market halted at the short moving average currently 118 even of all things. So far today, another reactionary move, this time lower as prices tested the overhead short moving average and didn't like it up there and consequently have started to edge lower once again. Cable, aka sterling against the US dollar. A counter to the counter bullish Harami on Friday to the previous session's immediate countering bearish engulfing pattern. This was another test down and rejection towards the key support below of the slowly rising long moving average and that's currently at 137.86. The market is not shy of testing down to the support and equally not shy of getting rejected by it, though I'm sure that could only last so long. Under the long moving average, we have some support in the 137.5 area, then a little underneath until the 136.50 area. I still suspect that this pair may have more room on the downside. Meanwhile, above, we have the declining short stroke medium moving average, currently at 139.01. And a flat line, flatlining medium moving average currently 139.28. These are actually now separating, and as a consequence, their combined power, which was greater, is now diminishing. So far today, a lower open, but not really anywhere near the long moving average, and then a move back up to Friday's close and high so far. Euro sterling. A second bullish white soldier on Friday and a suitable follow on higher to the previous sessions combined key reversal up and bullish engulfing pattern. The move up was surprisingly halted by the declining short moving average currently 85.11. Even so, the market is still within the key bearish driving force of this market as the May to date based bear channel currently 84.44 to 85.32. Within this bear channel, we have support at 84.70 from the old March low. Meanwhile, further below, the next support of note is down at 83.35, and the resistance above the upper bear channel line is the slowly declining short stroke medium moving average. That's currently at 85.56. So far today, small move higher, stymied by the declining short moving mat average again. Overall, we're still within the bear channel. We look like an indecisive doji cross right now. US dollar against the Indian rupee. A gravestone doji, usually seen as bearish on Friday, that was capped by the declining short moving average, currently at 74.32. This coming after the previous session's bullish opening white marabozo, an earlier three day bearish evening star pattern. However, two things to note. The market had seemed unsure about staying that far below the significant 50% Fibonacci line of the February to April 2020 move. 74.26. Well, no longer now, it seems. Secondly, the market had been unhappy about testing the now rapidly rising short medium moving average below, currently 74.11. Well, that doesn't seem to be the case now either, as it is likely prepares for another attempt lower. I've still left on the chart, daily chart, the initial tar downside target X for the ascending broadening wedge pattern in the 74.05 area, even though it was achieved two weeks ago. We also still have the further secondary target X1 in the 7380 era. That's untouched as far. 
uh, though I have had doubts in recent days about whether we'll reach it as part of this cycle. So far today, a gapping lower open since filled, and even a move back up over the 50% Fibonacci and a test of the short moving average before a move down to finally truly test the rising short medium moving average. US dollar against the Brazilian real. An indecisive spinning top on Friday as the recent small move higher was capped once again by the two lesser Fibonacci levels of 525.65 and 526.79 and a declining medium moving average. Uh, fire, currently 526.10. Moving more below, well, we still have the lesser Fibonacci level at 520.27, which had recently reacted as if nothing was there and then abruptly started to show some support. Anyway, this once again still leaves open the one question I've been pondering here now for weeks. Is the move up since June purely reactionary or is it the beginning of something else? You see, there are arguments for the late June today action being a possible triple top or, conversely, a bullish half hesitation. And this situation still hasn't been settled. The longer this goes on, the more this looks like something new. This all is in the shadow of the remarkable number of dead crosses we've seen here since late May. US dollar against the Mexican peso. Key reversal down and bearish engulfing pattern on Friday. It was another classic move back down to the comfort of the attractor of this market now since April. The influential, gently declining neckline of the February to March head and shoulders top, currently at 1979.67. Halting its move lower just before testing it, actually. I guess after all, it still acts as support uh, at a pinch. Overhead, we also had the classic overhead resistance from all the moving averages, pressing down upon prices and narrowing the range between the neckline and the moving averages. Overall, you can see, easily see, the recent actions as part of the extensive decision we'd seen originally since mid-April, uh, which started again in late June. Looking below, we're back within the April to May base congestion zone between 1985 to 1995 and a small support band at 1971.68. So far today, a higher open but barely a move higher, not even approaching any of the moving average resistances overhead. Thank you for listening. The short version broadcast gives the essential market facts and consequences. Please be aware of the risk disclaimer posted with this broadcast, copyright Eddie Topic and ADM Investor Service International. And here comes the final bit.